It's your fault that I can't pay my tab, you know. I wasn't ever supposed to come back here in the first place. I've spent the last 20 years knowing what fate had in store for me. And then you... Damn it. I thought I had my life figured out. Not for a fate weaver, it isn't. But that's just the problem. When I was young, I thought I could overcome anything. Now, I know otherwise. I fought beasts the size of trees, was celebrated by mortals and fae alike. When I was initiated into the Fate Weavers, I thought it was a reward for my good deeds. The first time I saw my own fate, I realized it was nothing but a curse. My own death, of course. But not a hero's death, as I had always dreamed. I was going to die alone and unknown, killed by an Etin and used for stew. It was a terrible end, but I knew it was part of fate's greater plan. Then you came and changed that future. You stole my part in the tapestry. I was at peace with knowing the worst, but what do I do now that there's nothing to know? You're right. My glory days don't have to be over, and as long as I'm around you, I don't know how my story will end. That means I've got to make sure you stay around in one piece. Maybe this old trinket from my youth will help. After all, I don't just owe you my life. I owe you my future. Why, I once tracked a Yeth of Avgrun on a moonless night by smell alone. Fay or not. I could have tracked those Tawatha sober. They've set up in a cavern north of town, complete with some way of scrying your location. That's how they found you so easily. I have a plan, but it'll take the both of us to work. These soldiers were sent out with one purpose, finding you and making sure you stay dead. Everything else, the well, Arden, Hughes, have all been collateral damage. They're using something big to track you. They call it the Eyes of Tiernock. Smash it, and they won't be following you anymore. The main entrance is heavily guarded and will require a strong attack. The other route is trapped. It'll need a subtler approach. I don't have an answer for that. I can't imagine what about you made Gadflo send his troops across the continent. Straightforward and direct. A warrior after my own heart. I'll cover the back and make sure they can't escape to report back to whoever sent them here. Let's track down some trouble. This is the front entrance. You'll face their strongest guards, so it's no place for subtlety. Find their scrying mirror and smash it. I'll slip in the back and make sure none of them escape. I don't have an answer for that. I can't imagine what about you made Gadflo send his troops across the continent. His army is locked in a siege in Cluricon, but small groups sometimes make their way to Erethel. I don't think they've ever been this far inland. Just go inside and find those scrying mirrors. Don't worry, 
I'll be coming along to help. Thanks for giving an old man another chance. It's good to know I've got a future again. And even better not to know what it is. Whoever that Aelin Shear is, I don't think she's our enemy. If she wanted us dead, she could have killed us while we were weakened. But she's still trouble. Reminds me of a dark elf who left me half-naked and tied to a bar guest once. Now those were the days. The immortals inscribed their knowledge of fate into the living stone. I always thought it was a poetic way of talking about the theater. But there it is. In your hands. Keep it close, child. The mine has a main entrance and an escape tunnel. The main one is heavily guarded, and the escape is heavily trapped. I saw them bringing bar guests down in cages, probably still being trained. Turn the beasts free, and I bet they cause some chaos for you. The Destiny Stone showed us the tapestry of fate, but your power must have consumed it all. Everything except the wisdom at its core. The Codex of Destiny. The eyes of Tiernak are two immense Prismere mirrors. Long as the Tawatha have them trained on you, they'll find you anywhere. We'll be attacking their camp from both sides. We can't have any of them escaping to report back. Ah, the warm and welcoming Fey of the Summer Court. They were the ones who welcomed Man, Alpha, and Gnome into the Feylands. You'd hardly realize the Tawatha are the same sort of creature. The Crystal War, they've been calling it. Ten years ago, the Winter Fey turned violent and attacked us in force, calling themselves the Tawatha Deon. They say it's their sacred duty to cleanse the mortals from their lands. Naturally, the humans and Alpha who live here aren't so happy with that plan. It's been going back and forth for years. Where there's war, there's soldiers nervous about their fate. And that's where I come in. Good luck. I'll see you inside.
undying mortal has grown tired of running, has he? Decided to fight back? Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child of dust like yourself? We children of nature know our roles. Meek and mighty. Prey and predators. Life and death. All serve the cycle. You children of dust do not know your place. You come into our land. You come to face your hunters. And you, you don't know when to die. No mortal, perhaps. But I am Gadflo, blessed herald of the merciful Tiernach. Our army shall cleanse the world of your mortal imperfection. And you, all mortals end, even if some are more persistent than others. At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflo. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're doing well, so far. You've blinded them here, and they haven't killed you yet. And much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Shear up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you've already met her in the House of Ballads. But it sounds like she's the only lead now. Gadflo is just some trumped-up fay who started hearing voices, I gather. But a crazy with an army is still a threat, sure enough. We should be able to get out this way. Hey. Right. 